G'day guys, welcome to another workout of the week. This week team, look it's like last week's, if you did last week's, it's just solid, all right? You can push pretty hard through it, as you can see by the volume that was done by three people, including me who just did it. Um, Pull-ups, TRX, fit ball, dead bugs, tire push-ups today, dumbbell squat and press, lateral jumps. All right, let's get straight into a demo. So, yeah, just watch your step, mate. Um, Pull-ups, TRX, guys, obviously, depending on what you want to use. This morning, three of us, we used all different stuff. So, remember, if you're doing, um, if you're strong enough to do them all, 30 minutes, so 30 minutes, so that means 10 minutes ago we finished. So, pull-ups, okay, like that, mix up the grips if you're doing those, um, and even if you can only do, say, four or five on this and finish the other two on all the TRX. If you're doing TRX, guys, remember, the focus is keeping the core strong, okay? Depending on how strong you are, it will depend on how low you go underneath the bar. You might be back here to start with. Um, over here, guys, whichever band is suitable. The thicker the band, the easier it is to do the pull-up. Um, so it's good sometimes to have two bands. You might start with one when you're fresher, but when you're really starting to hit the wall, okay, you can then go for two. Straight out of the knee or the foot, if you can reach or bring out a little step, okay, and use that little bit of assistance that the band will offer to get up and down. Once we finish those ones, guys, fit ball, dead bug. So with this one, you're starting in the dead bug position. The ball is just there to balance. Make sure that you hold the dead bug position in between. So if you haven't done these before, have a little bit of a cracky run beforehand. Alternate arm, alternate leg. Okay, now that counts as one, two, three, four. You're only doing either 12 or 10. Okay, so really extend the alternate arm yeah, and alternate leg. Okay, for those ones. The next one, guys, is tie push ups. So there's two options here for tie push ups, guys. Um, if you don't have any shoulder issues and all the rest of it, get a little bit funky like we did this morning, just to mix up the grip. So down if you keep it plyometric, you can always jump to the next side depending on your coordination. Otherwise, rotate, come through, okay, and into that position. The regression for this, guys, is just on the tires, okay? Just focus on good control push-ups, even down to your knees if you have to, all right? Remember, there's always regression. Um, then dumbbell squat and press. So with this one, guys, choose a dumbbell that's appropriate. The 12 and a half are quite heavy. I found quite heavy at the end. So you go grab a dumbbell for whatever you need to do. Now, if you're doing, say, eight, you'll do four each arm. So stay on that one arm. Coming down, if you've got that range of motion, okay, come down and touch the ground. If not, just come down to about there, wherever your range of motion is. But when you bring it up, it's just straight into a squat and press. Set the line of the body, flick, straight up, okay? So I'll do four one side, four the other side. That will give me eight in total. And the last one, guys, simulating skipping, but we're doing little lateral jumps. They are super fast. Choose a line where the rubber mats meet. Okay, every jump counts as one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Getting faster. Okay, and just nice. If you've had any ankle injuries and you're a little bit unstable and you don't want to do that, stay up on the calves. Just jump. Just stay up there. So it's a calf workout. Cool. Get them done, guys. Get your scores on the board. Have a cracker. Have a great week.